All right, last week we had a disaster at our house. I was doing laundry and all of a sudden sewage started backing up into the, the basement. It was a mess. Here is some of the piping that they took out, all cast iron, just over 100 years old. And some of it they cut, most a lot of it they were able to just take a hammer and it just broke right through it. It just all, a lot of that is just really, really uh, scaled badly. You can just see how bad this is. Uh, much of the line, a lot of line was actually missing and wasn't even existent anymore going into the ground. Um, so right here we have uh, a clean out that they put in. And so from there on out to the street, they had to take up our sidewalk. And all this has been replaced. All the pipe underneath there has been replaced with uh, PVC pipe. This was an expensive job. Um, underneath there, that mound of dirt right there is a, um, a, um, uh, a, a gas line. Uh, sorry, I have to search for my words sometimes. I had a head injury last January, and this kind of slows me down a little bit. So there was a gas line underneath there, and they had to specially work around that. They couldn't take the excavator, and so that cost me a lot of extra money. Dug underneath the curb, then on out into the street. Um, in Piqua, uh, the homeowner is responsible for the lines going all the way out to the city main, which is way out to here. So they had to dig down right about five feet to where they can get to the city main and do all that. Um, I have to pay for all this. That comes out of our pocket. City doesn't cover that. Uh, they'll be coming in next week. Uh, I have a company coming in next week to pave this. And then they're going to build me a, uh, a, uh, a new sidewalk. So uh, you know, we gotta get all that done. Uh, right here, I have to clean out from this area on underneath the porch, about six feet down, is the uh, another line that goes into the basement. That line we can't touch because we'd have to remove the whole doggone porch. Uh, so they're coming up with a different plan for that, and we'll go inside real quick and show you that, that plan. So we're going to quickly go inside here. All right. Excuse our mess. We've been kind of in construction. I want to show you something real quick. Uh, this is uh, a bucket that we've been having to use to do our business in, to poop and pee in. So at least we can say we have a pot to pee in. <laughs> and then uh, this is how we've been doing our dishes. This has been going on for seven days now. So, and then because we, any drop of water that comes in, it comes right back out. Um, inside, this is this pipe right here is where the sewage comes out of it was shooting up almost to the ceiling when it shot out it was a mess i did have those cleaned up but it was now it's nasty uh so uh they had to dig out the basement floor they got all that done and then they had to come back here and all this line had to get dug all this got dug out and then had to get replaced this is all cast iron now it's all pvc but we're still running into another issue, excuse me, uh, that we have, we're having a problem with gravity flow, uh, but we'll get that. So basically the, our, our lines are actually going almost uphill or almost, uh, if not level. So that's a big issue we are, we're having. Right there you'll see the cup lane where it goes into the, uh, uh, under, the um, under the porch. And so um, that what they're going to do is they're going to try to descale it. And so they'll send a special machine down there to, and they have to go very, very slow because when they try to descale other lines, uh, it pretty much destroyed them. So uh, this one right here, they're going to have to go really, really slow. And then they're going to uh, try to line it. So that way we don't have to take out the porch. And then, since we don't have much of a flow, since pretty much this thing lays flat all the way out to the city, there's nothing they can do about it. They're going to kind of re redo some things in the piping in there to make it where it shoots down better into underneath the floor here. And then right here, they're going to cut in. It's going to be about three feet in diameter. And it's going to be a, uh, um, oh, uh, what do they call that doggone thing? It's a... Uh, 
a grinder pump. Um, so I, remind, don't mind me. I had a head concussion a few, six, you know, about six, seven months ago. So I'm a little slow sometimes. Uh, it's a grinder pump, and I guess our our stuff goes in there and it grinds up and then shoots it out to the city. Uh, this pipe here will get removed and all that stuff. So um, <laughs> this is a mess, and uh, as you can see, we have a hard time getting showers. Uh, so uh, we we are going to get a hotel room and get cleaned up. I have to shave and get myself looking better. And uh, but it's one of those things. So. Uh, just when you look at your insurance policy, uh, luckily the insurance will pay for the, um, the covering of this. They'll pay for this and they'll pay for the front yard. They, that's it. It's gonna, they're only kicking in maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. We're not exactly sure. All the rest is going to be on us. Um, when done, as long as this pipe goes okay, we're going to be roughly... Forty-six to forty-eight thousand dollars to do all this. I called several companies, plumbing companies, to come out and take a look at this. Uh, nobody returned my calls. They knew it was too big of a job. I had one that promised to come out here, and they never even showed. So we we chose Rotorooter, and um, you know they're a little more expensive, but they do one really really good job. Um, so make sure you look at your insurance policy. I you know maybe even look into uh, sewer line replacement insurance because um, you could be out in the country and it'd be a lot cheaper or if you didn't have to dig up your street it's a lot cheaper but the fact of the work they had to do in under the street the work they had to do under the sidewalk working around the gas line and then descaling and all this it just added up so so much <laughs> so just a word of advice you know check out your sewer lines because I hate to see any of you guys run into a disaster like this. I mean, it is a, it, it's a mess. So, um, you know, that's all I have to say. You know, we're, we're just trying to figure out uh, where we're going to get the funding for all this. But that's uh, part about the joys of home, own, home ownership. So, and, uh, okay, yeah, and so, yeah, I showed them that, so. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. There's a jackhammer that they're using. No, yeah, Teresa's like, no, it's not fun. This is not, not fun at all. So, yeah, so this weekend our project is we're trying to hit up, uh, you know, we, we got to figure out some funding. So I have a, I have, I've got a really good uh, kidney to sell. I don't drink or anything like that. So that, we just joke about that. Anyways, uh, check your lines and make sure they're not going to blow up like ours did. And good luck.